Welcome back to 80scomics.com for the review of The Micronauts, The New Voyages, issue number 5 from February 1985. Behold, The Spiral Path. I've come to really enjoy The Micronauts series. It's a short-lived series, and this is The New Voyages, so there's actually a Micronauts series dating back to the 70s. But I've come to enjoy The Micronauts, The New Voyages, though this is not the issue to start with. I'll just... I'll forewarn you right now. Don't don't buy issue five and think that you're going to get into it because it's really confusing. It's very wordy. This is a whole lot of plot, much of which doesn't make sense. And often the Micronauts don't make sense, and it's pretty cool. But this time it doesn't make sense, and it's like, all right, I just need I need to see where things are going. So this is a plot episode. But I do have to compliment Kelly Jones, the penciler of the series, who also does the incredible work on Air Raiders. Kelly Jones. A, a really, like, just a wonderful 1980s action detailed style. I like Kelly Jones' work. So, Kelly Jones, I dig your artwork. And the story is interesting here. Let's see, we've got Commander Arcturus Ran, Marionette Bug, Acro Year, and Huntar. They they had some sort of machine here rescue them from the laser planet. And you can see that, that uh, Kelly Jones really detailed artwork there. But all of a sudden, one of the robots goes crazy, tries to strangle Marionette, and uh, everybody's like, what? Huh? <laughs> what? Oh, look, you can get dumbbells fit for life from uh, DP Orbitron. I, okay. Is anyone reading Micronauts going to run out and buy some dumbbells? I do like his sneaks, though. Those are pretty fresh. So we've got some thing here where uh, these, these weird-ass aliens discover this thing in one of their pockets that, I don't know, it's a, it means something to, de to them, and then they suggest flying to the center of the universe or whatever, so they hop into a ship, fly to the center of the universe, and there's some flashback here with, Ar with Arco, whatever his name is, a guy that looks like uh, Kurt Russell from The Thing, and that's uh, that, that's Marionette as a little girl, but somehow they, they end up, they're like different ages, but then they're the same age because he's like a thousand years old, and there's the guy with the with the cool face mask and the uh, the nipple lasers without the face mask and the nipple lasers, and then they fly to the center of the plant, the center of the universe or whatever, and discover this city. And once again, I have to compliment the artwork here. Very nice two page spread of this uh, giant city where the inhabitants have been inspired by the Micronauts to apparently take their image. So so obviously there's multiple marionettes. Because I think Kelly Jones liked to draw Marionette. And we've got uh, multiple other characters here. And Bug starts to get jealous between this relationship between Arco Year and Marionette. But I'm going to stop you right there. We're going we're gonna to stop the plot of this book. Because what really steals the show here is the, is the advertisements in Micronauts issue 5. Scary giant alien eye creature obeys your commands. Only $2. It's 7 feet tall. That is a creepy ass advertisement. <laughs> This thing from another world acts as though it were alive. <laughs> I'm already concerned. And look, it's a truck. It's a robot. It's a motorized motobot. Behold the spiral path. Here's the spiral path. You're like, all right, I'm thoroughly confused. When are the Micronauts going to get into a fight with some more alien robots? It's beautiful. By the Enigma Force, what does this mean? That's a good question, but once again, I'm distracted by the incredible advertisements in this issue. And so are you. I know I know you're like, what wait, hold on now. Transbots? In stock now? <gasps> what are is that Megatron? No, it's it's the leader. The largest of the robots. He heads up your force, and then before attack, you convert convert him to three robots. It's Astro Magnum. Transforming weapon and a robo watch, but also we've got uh, Thunderstar, a robot to jet plane, Loco Rob, Loco Rob, ro robot to locomotive, Transfob, a robot to spaceship, Photectob, a robot. These are amazing. Transforming cameras, transforming deception planes. Not a Decepticon, it's a deception plane. And at this point, I'm already like, I want to get myself some transbots. So I'm thinking, should I just continue reading the comic or go hit eBay and try to find some transbots? But I, I continued reading, only to discover that uh, Kelly Jones has 
given me nightmares for the rest of time with this picture. Like, well, actually, these two panels alone, I'm thoroughly just weirded out now. But thankfully, G.I. Joe is there to pull me out of my, um, my, my, my weird funk. Well, Duke, now that we've joined forces with Family Home Entertainment, we'll, we'll lick Cobra for sure. And I'm sure they'll appreciate you licking them, gung-ho. That's not weird. Just because FHE is releasing G.I. Joe, a real American hero on video cassette, doesn't mean those snakes are whipped. <laughs> okay. Not even if our tape is so affordably priced at $39.95 that every kid can own a copy, Scarlet asks with a, a very blank expression on her face. Does she know what she just said there? $39.95 in $19.85? That's like $1,000. Not every kid is going to have a $1,000 VHS tape of G.I. Joe. But uh, let's go here to um, Micronauts, where Bug starts to have apparently like a midlife crisis or something. I don't know, some sort of emotional issue. He really likes Marionette, and he's thoroughly disturbed by the fact that she seems to all that she seems to be into Arco year, Arco whatever. But wait! It gets weirder. Here we have green Marionette combined with Bug. So, yes, you, you're reading, you're seeing this correctly. It's so 70s. I love it, and I'm also disturbed at the same time. The aliens have taken the Micronauts' forms and combined them into one. So, Bug is basically into an alien being that looks like the girl he's into mixed with himself. And Bug has some discussion with her, and he's like, I can't take you with me. And she's like, take me with you. And he's like, okay, I'll take you with me. And that's pretty much where the... Where the where the issue ends. I this is not the one to start with. I'll just say that I, I've enjoyed the Micronaut series. Three and four were awesome. Five's like, all right, where are you guys going with this? What's what's going on? It's weird, but you know what? Sometimes weird is just weird and not that cool. Sometimes weird is really cool because it's weird and it's cool. I'm not sure where this one's heading yet, but we'll find out in the next 80scomics.com Micronauts issue. Number six. Once again, though, Kelly Jones artwork, solid. Also, check out Air Raiders. Really great detailed 80s action artwork. See you soon.